I've made it to Toronto, Canada. I'm here with Emily. We're staying here for the week. It's myself, Jer, and then we're staying with Emily and Charlie. And um, I thought I started filming now. It's day two. We were sleeping off our jet lag yesterday. It was yesterday camp, so you arrived yesterday. I, we were mostly on a plane for all of yesterday. So now we're gonna go and buy some sandwich ingredients. I was just talking to Emily about how when I'm in the US or like now in Canada, I always feel like I'm in a film because that's the only way we ever get to see like this sort of kind of houses and these kind of streets. And so it makes going to the US or to Canada feel like an extra special experience because you feel like you're in like a movie. Uh, here we are making 8 million sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Starting with the first ingredient, avocado. We just went to an amazing um, bulk shop where you could buy everything in bulk, which if you're looking for in London, you can't find. And here there was just this amazing um, giant shop where you can basically get everything from like pasta to pick and mix. One of my favorite places so far that I found in Toronto is this place called Kid Icarus and it has amazing prints like I would buy every single print from here if I could take it on the plane um, amazing pins amazing stationery they have little like crocheted plants you can't kill always good out of the ROM at the Royal Ontario Museum which you can see behind me is this beautiful old building but they've also put like quite a modern sort of front onto it like a new section of the museum I'm just waiting for Emily to come collect me uh, but it's quite interesting because it's a bit of a mix between if you know the London museums like the British Museum and the Natural History Museum a really excellent dinosaur collection and you know a variety of other stuff I did the highlights tour which I always really like doing when I go to a museum for the first time they're like usually free and they'll just show you all the business museum which is awesome. Emily can you tell me what you're holding? So in this bag we have uh, some of Canada's finest donuts. You can see in there. By a man called Tim Horton uh, and Sonna is going to try her two donuts that she selected. The two that I've selected, I tried some Timbits yesterday, they're like the little ones so I could try some different flavors but my the ones for today this is the old-fashioned glazed. It's like that one has some like extra like spices inside would you say that is correct Emily it's almost like a you know mulled wine has that kind of like the cardamom kind of yeah yeah and then this is it looks gross now an apple fritter <laughs> yeah wait. okay do I try them now yeah okay I'm gonna try the apple fritter yeah that's good Today we're at Casa Loma, which you can see behind me. It's like a giant castle on a hill that we have to climb in Toronto. Uh, so I'll show you a little bit more of the outside and the inside. I'm ill. <laughs> Cheers. It cost 3.5 million to build, and it's like the single biggest residential building in Toronto, Canada. So we made it out of Casa Loma. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. It's fun times. So we should probably apologize to any um, Canadian people who view this as like a national treasure or something. But, um... There's a secret doorway and you get to go down these stairs and it's really cool. And when you get downstairs, the first thing you see is... It's, it's Batman. There's like a Justice League exhibit or film promo at the bottom and like a cafe we got to see the whole squad we got to see the wonder woman and the batman and the superman and they're all just hanging out next to a nice little tacky cafe which means that the whole building smells like sausage i mean the rest of the building is beautiful it's i would say maybe just walk around it and have a look at the outside we just went to the saint lawrence market as you can see here and wandering around, a lot of meat, a lot of fish, but I found this amazing bagel place called St. Urbane Bagel, apparently the one, best bagel of 2015. I got this like really 
fluffy bun with chive cream cheese and they heated it up and it's amazing. Glorious food. The reason that we're standing here is because it's raining very badly and this is the only dry place outside. Good morning, it is another day in Toronto. We've basically had all the weather. We've had 30 degrees, really hot. We've had rain and cloudy days and today is like the perfect autumn day. On Thursday, I got to screen my video at Buffer Festival on the Women on YouTube panel slash screening. Today we're gonna do some more exploring. Where we currently are is the Harbourfront Center. So we're at the water. We actually, our hotel, the Buffer Hotel, is really close to here. Uh, so we had a nice wander and it looked especially good in this weather. So we'll show you guys what it looks like. It's called Fleur de Sel and it has caramel in it and salt on top and it's so good. It's so good. All right, we have arrived at Dixie's Orchard. Is that what it's called? Did I make that up? We're going apple picking. This is Emily's favorite. It's called Cortland. I don't think I've had one of those. Ready? First apple. Oh, it fell! I didn't even touch anything! <laughs> She's really bad at apples. They're just picking themselves at this point. Here are my apples. I have three and one for consumption. Are you legally consuming that apple, Sana? Yeah, it's like in the supermarket when you eat your crisps before you reach the end and then just put the empty bag on like a conveyor belt. Okay. That's how that works. This is it. They do it by weight, so I don't know if they should weigh you before you go in and then afterwards and then charge you for every apple. I'm about to go into my very first corn maze. Right, Emily? Mm -hmm. How many corn mazes have you been in? I don't know. You know? Many? Yeah. I still have the childlike wonder. So far there's been no decisions to be made yet, so. Detox market, <laughs> and it is this amazing, lovely shop with lots of really good skincare products, like a nice variety of prices. It looks beautiful inside, like lots of plants. And she bought me a birthday present. And I bought her a birthday present. This is a really nice place. I'd highly recommend you check it out if you're in town. Also, we smell amazing right now. Yeah. I like, tested five different toners on my hat. I put like two hundred dollars worth of oil on my face. Yeah, it's good. So we're currently walking down Queen Street and it is filled with really nice boutiques and bookshops. We just went to Type Books and then there's the paper, the paper store, so it's called next door. But I've also found kind of like cosmetics places, lots of things made in Canada. Um, I got this woodsy lumberjack spritz. It is our second to last day in Toronto. Buffer Festival's over, we've checked out of our hotel. We had the gala yesterday, which is very nice, very fancy. Uh, and we are gonna take the ferry to Toronto Island. We've made it onto the island. It is gorgeous. There's just lots of green. There's no cars. There is, what's it called, frisbee golf uh, and beautiful views and cycling. So, pretty happy. Now, of course, an island wouldn't be complete without a maze. My second maze in like a week. It's my lucky, my lucky week. This is the William Meany maze. I'm going inside. <laughs> oh, Jared's like chasing me through the maze and trying to be creepy. I can see him. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so that is the end of our Toronto trip. I hope you enjoyed watching along. I'm bringing a whole suitcase of maple leaf biscuits, and I'll see you soon. Doei!